The coral reefs on the western side of Madagascar run for a thousand kilometers. Over this long distance, there are an estimated 6,000 reef species associated in three types of habitats, fringing reefs, barrier reefs, and patch reefs. Of these, 752 are fish and 350 are coral species. Much of the Malagasy coastline remains scientifically unknown, but many fish species are similar to ones found throughout tropical reef systems, such as Moorish idols, tangs, damselfish, and parrotfish. Butterfly fish and their kin eat coral, and they are considered to be a reliable indicator of reef health. Over this 1,000 kilometer distance, running north to south, the collection of species changes with the temperature gradient. Many mysterious creatures lie in waiting. This wonderfully camouflaged stonefish belongs to the most venomous fishes in the world. The danger lies at the base of their dorsal fin, where there is a pressure-sensitive venom gland. There really are sea monsters, like this two meter long synaphid sea cucumber with feather-like mouth parts to assist in feeding. Reefs are hot spots of biodiversity. Hidden in every nook and cranny is life in an array of shapes and sizes. The variety of life forms and color makes a coral reef one of the wonders of the universe. These soft, finger-like structures belong to the sea anemones, which serve as a home for a close cousin of Nemo. Although slightly less gaudy, but still handsome, it's the skunk clownfish. Sea urchin diversity changes between reef types. Urchins are highly prized by the fishermen. Just in the center of our view are the fleshy blue tissues of the giant sea clam. This famous bivalve can weigh hundreds of kilos and measure over a meter in width. It cannot grab a person by the leg. Here a lionfish shares a hideout with a spiny lobster. The world's coral reefs are dying. The causes are varied, but global climate change and its consequences of coral bleaching are the main cause. Also, sedimentation and over-harvesting are big problems. In Madagascar, the population has doubled in a generation, and traditional Malagasy fishing has increased by five-fold. Much more protection is needed to assure future healthy coral reefs.